Now that the boilers are working, it should be simple to release the book from its protective case. All right. Shall we get on with it? We shall. At last. I hope it was worth it. Please, be my guest. You deserve the first look. Besides, it could be very dangerous. These books are known to drive many people insane. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you could have your mind sucked dry by Hermaeus Mora. But that's supposed to be very rare. <laughs> supposed to be. All right. Here goes something. Oh, good. Be sure to say hello to Hermes Mora for me if you. I'm sorry, Naloth, I couldn't hear you over the sound of tentacles sucking my brain out of my head. Anyway, what are these? Ah. Right. Once more, into the very, very green bowels of Apocrypha. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that works. Oh, wait, where does this end up? Whoa! Not somewhere that I want to be is where it ends up. I have, in fact, just remembered. That there tend to be invisible monstrosities lurking about. That's probably somewhere I need to be. More tentacles? Possibly. Completely fine. Hermaeus Mora and his tentacles of destiny. I don't know. I have been in Apocrypha before, I just need to- oh dear. <laughs> Keep my wits about me. Which is easier said than done when you're faced with things like this. I mean... Hello? Oh. Careful you don't get a paper cut cactus. I have never been so grateful for scales in my life. And now... We deal with lurkers. That I, I missed. <laughs> Come on. Area. Oh, you bastards. Uh. 
it occurs to me. The easiest way for me to actually regain Magicka is to just... ...stand here. ...and get slightly zapped by things. Did I get him? Guess so. Well, that was, uh... ...certainly something. Oh, I sure did. Any scrolls which I will probably never have use of. That was probably a dumb idea to do that before I observed where it was going to open. But that's fine. <laughs> yes, I am being watched by a very familiar void. Hello, Hermimora. I should probably keep my sense of humor to myself when dealing with Daedric Princes, I've just realized. Although, in fairness, I can't imagine how entertaining Mirak is, at least in the Department of Witty Repartee. I've been seen by something. Oh, I see. Something scuttling about up there. Oh, I missed. Oh! Well, how are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Go on. Fuel my magic. I kind of want to try that one. And I cannot stress how uninterested I am in the idea of studying Riemann. I assume that's what the Remanada is about. Just books. I have very particular interests. With luck, Lord Mora will be accommodating of them, or at least accommodating of one who isn't exactly after every shred of knowledge in the universe. Maybe? <laughs> uh, tentacles. I'm expecting tentacles. Oh, hey. Uh, that's a lurker. Where are we going? Hello. Ah, oh, you can get over here, all right. Ah, 
Ah, yes. More circuits. Hit me. Thank you. One. Ah, oh, that didn't work. In theory, I can get down there. In practice, I don't know if I can get back up again. So I won't risk it quite yet. All right. We keep going. Hi, come on. Thank you. I can take a little bit of magical damage. My scales are my conduit. Sometimes. Sometimes. There we go. Finally. Will be useful. Antecedents of Dwemer Law. Song of Felinal, Dark Darkness, none of which necessarily interest me. Patiently waiting. For the moving corridor made of books to swing around. Oh, let me not fall. That sounds hideous when it's moving and... Alright. Alright. Paper cut. In case I want to capture some ghosts at some point, I do wish I could. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect it to move. Well. Whoa! <laughs> Oh. Well. I suppose that's fine. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Not sure what these are supposed to do.
as one does. Hmm. Battle Tide could be interesting. I'm not much of a conjurer, though. I'll leave that to Solvander and his... staff of summon vengeful stuff. There we go. Oh, this could be interesting, potentially. We continue dodging. The ten- the tendrils. I like tendrils, that's a good word. The tendrils of... Pain. Mostly, I think. Anything going to come out of this? That is a bit disgusting, actually. It looks like a pool of writhing eels. Boise is proving. I'm going to pick that up for soul, actually. Boise is one of the One of the... The true tribunal. As the Ashlanders once called them, I think. The Reclamations. I have to admit, that was surprisingly aesthetically pleasing. Especially for somewhere in Apocrypha. <laughs> oh, this is such an unnerving place. Alright. Epistolaria Acumen. What have we here? Uh, hello. Oh, seekers of knowledge. Come to me, sooner or later. Right! Ah, yes, the, uh... The extra collections of eyes and tendrils really make it the, uh, the impression. Lord Hermaeus Mora? What exactly do you want of me? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. Yes, I came here to learn Mirak's secrets. I suppose, uh, that would be somewhat transparent to a Daedric prince, would it not? All that he knows, he learned from me. I know what you want. 
to use your power as Dragonborn to bend the world to your will. Ah, here then is the knowledge you need, although <laughs> you did not know you needed it. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. All right, fair enough. And what's your price for the final word of power, then? Knowledge. For knowledge. The Skull have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. All right. I'm not sure what you would want with the skull, but, uh... I will at least talk to them. I know you will. And then I will give you the knowledge that you seek. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. All right. Huh. None of these are particularly useful to me, given... I am, perhaps, Dragonborn in name only, and perhaps appearance. Oh, Cactus just make a decision. I'm going to decide on Flame because we are in Skyrim, and I suspect that if I were to learn another word that hasn't been handed to me by Hermaeus Mora, a Flame one would be much more useful. Probably. Mm -hmm, I think so. All right. Back we go. What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. Well, I talked to Hermaeus Mora. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did she have to say? He must have wanted something from you. I mean... One wouldn't expect anything else, right? He wants the secrets of the Skull in exchange for teaching me... a word of a shout. I have no idea what the Skull would have that he wants, but here we are. Bah! What secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. 
Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to Talmithran. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. I don't know about second most powerful dragonborn, but I will take the compliment. They are hard one indeed from that man. Well, doesn't that figure? Hello. That bastard probably. Mirek has commanded you. <laughs> Sit still and face the consequences, my friend. Green man, you are a fool to challenge me. I am what now? Ugh. Well, that's simply disgusting. And now we go. Talk to the skull and try not to trip over the dead dragon in the water. Right, where are they again? There, somewhere, I think. Indeed. Alright, away we go. Oh, God, there we are. Nothing quite like getting lost in Soul Slime style ash fog. Absolutely disgusting. Although it does remind me of home in a certain suffocating way. Right, where is Storn? Make sure that you save some wood from the pile. What for? One of our chairs is about to break. <laughs> it will need to be mended with a new leg. Very well, I'll take a look at it. Oh, why, hello. So, the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. So, I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. And he asked for the secrets of the Skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Hermamora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. What are the secrets of the Skull, by the way? Because Nelloth seemed to think it was new and interesting ways to skin a horker, but... I assume there must be more to it than that. Ah. Ancient lore, handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave Solstheim to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. Which does sort of beg the question, or raise the question, rather. Why would he want to know that? We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. And he did say it was the only way he would teach me the final word of Mirak's shout, which is something. 
So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The Three Stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. <laughs> so... You're just going to give him what he wants, then? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. Uh... <laughs> Freya has the shivers. Or she's incredibly angry, one of the two. Either way, I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirax. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. <coughs> oh, I'm ready to be out of the sash, frankly. The skull yield up their secrets to me. Father, no, stop. I, I won't. I won't not forget. For you. Oh, I made a mistake. Do something! Dragon Lord. Uh, you have delivered me the gift I requested. In return, I'll keep my promise as befits a prince of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need to challenge Mirak. You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor, as the tides of fate decree. All right, but did you have to kill him? Father! What have you done? Uh, well... Go! My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then! Kill Mirak! Do not fail! Alright! Uh... Ooh... Ho ho ho... Uh -huh. Something tells me I will not be welcomed in the Skull Village for a very long time. Or perhaps only as long as it takes for me to... Gods, this ash is thick. Ugh. As long as it takes for me to actually... Deal with me, Iraq. On the one hand, 
My eyes are doing interesting things today. All right. On the one hand... It would probably be easier to bring Sol with me. On the other, I don't know where he is. And I think I've gotten plenty strong on my own. I will have to see what the full Bend Will Show does, but... It could be useful. I'm sure Sol is going to have a problem with it, but, uh... Let's just keep that a secret until I need it, shall we?